In this video, we're sharing the details behind our subscription coffee for October. Welcome, my name is Patrick Rolf and this is Coffee with April. This month, we're gonna look at, take a closer look at the subscription coffee for October. Now, we're kind of excited, we've always been excited about this farm and we're gonna see a lot of this coming. So every single season, we buy quite a lot of different varietals and different processing methods from a partner farm in Costa Rica, namely Vulcan Azul. We've been working with farmer Alejo ever since the very beginning here at April and is one of the farmers that we have visited the most. And for this month's subscription, we're bringing you a beautiful yellow honey processed Katura varietal. Now the Katura varietal is a staple coffee at his farm. It's something that traditionally has been very important for Costa Rican coffee. There was a time back in history where basically the only thing you were farming in Costa Rica was either Katura or Katuai, and most often that was actually a blend of both. Now, this specific Katura has been hand selected among 10 other small lots that we've chosen amongst for April. We decided to get the process yellow honey as we believe that that's actually one of the best lots that he has at the farm. Yellow honey basically means that it goes through a depulping process, leaving 10% of the mucilage still on the parchment before drying. So it's actually closer to a wash processed coffee than it is to a honey processed coffee. And this makes it really clean all the way through. Now, when it comes to roasting this coffee, um, as per usual, we're using a 15 kilo lot size or batch size in a 15 kilo Loring Falcon Smart Roast. The total duration of the roast is 11 minutes and one seconds to be precise, leaving us with a one minute development time or time after crack, which gives us a 9.1 percentage of development time ratio for those of you that care. The end temperature here is 208.5, which is fairly standard when it comes to April roasting. Keep in mind, we're roasting a lot of Volcano Souls coffees we have for a long time. So we kind of have this pinned down and we know what we're looking for, we know what we're doing. This specific coffee has beautiful stone fruit character, as well as kind of a red apple flavor note going through the whole cup. This also shows in the acidity of the cup specifically. Now, when it comes to Volcano Soul, we also have very sweet, brown, sugary, nougat even vibes to the coffee, which is one of the things that we tend to like the most with this coffee. It's this perfect mix of acidity, sweetness, and this more classic kind of chocolatey characters together with these more acidic, apple-like and melon-like qualities, which are really cool. When it comes to brewing this coffee, again, uh, we're referencing all of our recipes using the April Brewing Kit, which is our preferred way of brewing the April coffees. Uh, we're doing a 12 gram dose and we're pushing 200 grams of water that sits at 92 degrees Celsius. Um, now, if you want any re recommendations of water for home brewing, we just now actually done a few videos on the peak water as well as third wave water. On top of that, we also have some exclusive Patreon material for all of our Patreon members where we kind of take a deep time into different waters for home. So check out that if you're interested. Now, so 12 grams of coffee, 200 grams of water at 92 degrees Celsius. We push that in two different pours. We're starting with a 40 gram circle pour and we move into a 60 gram center pour. We let that sit for 30 seconds. After that, we make the same pour again. Now, the grind size we're looking for is a grind size that gives you a total brew time of between 2.40 and three minutes. Now, working with our coffees on a Comandante, that usually translates into 32 or 34 clicks on a standard dial. Now, keep in mind, one of the things we stress us the most is that how a coffee is roasted, meaning roast degree, is vastly changing how water goes through the coffee 
which is the flow rate. So keep that in mind when it comes to setting grinders and also keep it in mind in terms of how you're pouring. Now, and also other side note, which is very important, something we do here in the April store more and more, is to rest the coffee properly before you start brewing. We don't brew anything in the store that is younger than two weeks. So let your coffee rest 14 days from roast before you start brewing it. Now, that was all for this time. If you have any questions about our subscription, about the specific coffee, or want to share your experience with us, please comment below. We're always really happy when you do. Also, make sure to check out our Patreon and make sure you subscribe to the video. Thank you very much. Have a great week. Thank you for watching and a special thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. These are the people that allow us to do what we do best and give you continuous content. If you want to be one of our supporters, please follow the link in the video. Thank you again for your support.